Hey everybody, Lenzer here. I'm gunning for a Colossus, and I have been for about maybe, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. And I'll go ahead and do a play-by-play -play for the Colossus. This is actually a pretty good fight. We've been circling. We've been... So the weapon I have is like a Super Basilisk. Its shot is very flat, so... I am pretty accurate. Well, the Citadel Shield needs to go first. Oh, this is a harasser, so I need to take care of this guy. Yeah, they're pulling quite a bit of armor, so I'm going to focus on the armor instead. Next, I'll hit the infantry. Oh, found a sunder. And then I'll focus on what infantry I can. So rest are right to our left. Somewhere. Now you shoot this shield. Just kill it, I guess. A lot going on around here. A lot of chaos. So that was a good fight. There's a lot of triaging targets. Enemy armor first. And harassers closest, prowlers farther away. Those are the things that are probably the most... Like that guy right there. Those are the most... Dangerous for us. And it's not really because of us. It's because of what they could do to our friends. Like the Sundays. And uh, Colossus Column. The Sundays, the Rep Sundays, are the first targets, or the most vulnerable part of us. If those go down, then our ability to Rep is decreased big time. This Armor Column has survived pretty much the entire two hours because it kept its Sundays alive. Which is pretty commendable. And... You know, the platoon leader has been quite understanding of the importance of the rep Sundays. There have been quite a number of vanguards and support to take damage and soak up for the rep Sundays and the ammo buses. But ultimately, we've stayed alive because of all these support Sundays that you see here now. So, I want to target whatever is targeting them, first and foremost. If I see tracer rounds shooting at them, I need to be shooting it. That's generally what we're after. It's the name of the game. I'm just fielding whatever pot flies and grounders I can that are trying to kill our Sundays. Most of the time it's harassers and prowlers. The super bassies are really awesome.
cool. So that f those flashes are also a major, uh, major threat. They've been C4 flashing a lot of rep buses, but we've been killing them faster than they can get to us, like this little guy here, stuff like that. So they can't get in close enough most of the time. But sometimes they do have a cloak flash that just can get in and do quite a bit of damage. Luckily though, these rep buses have been pulled as soon as they go down. We get another one somewhere. And it's just been like that all night long. So, And we haven't been afraid of fights either. This, this um, Colossus driver has been fairly aggressive. So I wouldn't say that they've been zerging at all. We've been everywhere from this side of the map to VS when they had more territory over here by Ymir and Frostfall and in the middle at Isa and we've we've been fielding left and right in this map against Bastions and, and the like. So interesting that that we've survived this long and looks like the T R have been able to oppose us the most so that's why we're currently here now so a lot of covering fire going down uh, there's in, in a battle like this you're kind of you've got threats coming from l at least three sides and to include a potential traverse threat so my my immediate concern is going to be the 5 10 25 meter range it's just, I don't have the bandwidth to be able to catch everything happening around me. So I'm going to just focus on what I can, like that guy right there. I need to be paying more attention to people trying to run up on us like that. Because they can become big threats to our support if I don't. There's no one C4 that's going to blow us up, so I don't. I'm okay with that, but I, I can't let that be an excuse for not paying attention. And that's pretty much what happens here in a Colossus. Uh, Colossus are pretty dang powerful, especially when they have that, that shield or they pop a mad cannon and they can their velocity just goes through the roof. So I'm just really fielding whatever I can. Um, sometimes, though, the hit markers on the Colossus can be quite misleading especially when he's got the shield up whenever he fires it will it will damage his tank and that sometimes makes it seem like there are enemies behind us when they're not so i just have to continually check i just have to continually check to see what if anything uh, is behind us but most of the time there's not anything behind us and i have to just check anyways to do my due diligence as a gunner lots of people hitting us right now all i'm really doing is just holding down the fire button because i know there's a ammo bus behind me so i'm constantly getting full up and i might as well take a shot as much as i can just to see if i can't get that hit of someone popping out versus waiting there's, there's just no point in waiting like this guy right here i was reloading at the time but there's no reason why i shouldn't just be holding down the fire key because we have free ammo right now and th there might be a time when I just get uh, a free kill or a free assist because I was able to hit them at a random time that they pop their head open and that's kind of the best situation that I think a gunner can really want to be in especially one in that's so well supported as a colossus because it means that I can kind of just fire and forget and while I'm shooting at that area i'm looking at the other one that way i can quickly divert my attention if i need to so that's that's pretty much yeah that this is the best situation we could hope for right now so i'm my eyeballs are looking left and right of the of the reticule i'm just kind of hitting well, we're taking a ton of damage right now so now I'm going to reload and just wait to see. Okay, we're back to most health now. So now I'm going to return back to firing everywhere. Because when we were getting low on that, I wanted to make sure that nobody can pop up on us to finish us off.
but now we're back to full health. So I'm just going to keep on spraying and praying at this point. Ooh, infill. Let's see if I can't get him. I wasn't able to. So I just um got my eye peel my eyes peeled for everything around me right now. Jetpackers, infills, whatever I can. Cause there's a lot of red on that mini map. Ton of red. So I have got to be careful because they can break out at any time. Like they are right now. They're breaking out right now. But we're pulling back. For whatever reason, we're pulling back. I think they believe that this can be easily won. And I think that's a mistake. With only three minutes left, we probably should not be pulling off Jaeger. But you know what? Whatever. All right, so there's a harasser. Just lead him a little bit. And then he should die here soon. Oh, he went behind, so he's dead now. That was good. Good run. So two minutes left. We should have it. As long as Jaegers goes through, but now that we're pulling back, we'll see. Oh, okay. This facility now belongs to the NC. So now that the fighting, the main fighting is over, I'm kind of just in standby mode. That's really it. So he's just going to chill here, I think, for the next two minutes. And, yeah. That was a pretty good, pretty good run on the Colossus. And that's where I'll end it. Thanks, everybody.